Good day everyone from California Adventure. We're here today because the Lunar New Year has started this weekend. They're going to have shows, uh, four different food booths, and just a lot of decorations in general. So let's check it out. I'm sure it's going to be fun. I'm wondering if this is the same one they use for the food and wine festival. And they just decorate it. Either way, it looks pretty good. All right, so here's a look at the Lunar New Year map. It all takes place in Paradise Garden Park for the most part, a little bit over in Pacific Wharf. They have four food booths this year. This looks interesting. They actually have Mulan in this show. And here are your show times. Taking a look at Red Dragon Spice Traders. This all looks pretty fantastic. Firecracker wings, shrimp and ginger dumplings. I've had this one before and it's really good. Don't even know what a purple yam is. And for once, I think I might actually get one of the drinks at a booth because that honey lime green tea sounds refreshing. I think they usually open at 11, but these ones open at 10.30, even better. I'm really confused now because isn't that the year of the rat? Yet they say year of the mouse. SeaWorld San Diego says year of the rat. Who's right? Kind of funny, the pin trading card that's here year round just already fits the theming. There is a huge line at the festival merchandise area. My guess is for the sip and savor passes. This year, for this event, it only has six instead of eight like you would get at any other festival. Take a look at the pass holder shirt. That is awesome. And that is $29.99. Here's another shirt. What's cool about it is there's no English on it. Got spirit jerseys as well. Happy New Year 2020, but look at the design. Even on the sleeves. At Prosperity Bow and Buns, they've got like a taco style bow, pork bow, Mickey Chinese hot dog bun, mango pineapple pastry. Every one of these sounds good as well. Now I just got a sip and savor pass, let's see here, you get six punches. They give you a little pamphlet here with all of the food booths, but there's also stuff at the Paradise Garden Grill and other places. It's strange though, she said they open at noon, and yet the bow one just opened, and it's 1020. A little odd. Alright, first three food items. We have the purple yam macaroon. That's actually quite large, it's the standard size they would find in like Jolly Holiday. Then we've got the shrimp, which is very small. That's just three pieces of shrimp. And I'm trying the honey green tea. Now, I would like to point out, this thing is uh, $41. You get six samplers. I only use the sampler on this because this is $8.25 for some reason. And this was like six bucks. So to get the most out of your money, um, only use the samplers on the more expensive items. Things such as desserts and drinks, just pay separate. Unless you really want to use all your taps, but be mindful of that. All right, that shrimp was fantastic. Even though the portion was really small, ginger, soy, shrimp, amazing. Loved it. So far, it's the best savory thing I've had. It's the only one I've had. Uh, the macaroon, the purple yam macaroon, or <laughs> macaroon, really, really good. Probably one of my favorite macaroons in all of Disney. Next to like the raspberry one you get at Jolly Holiday. It's kind of tough between those two. And this tea, still working on it, but I do enjoy it, so let's get some more food. And back over here, they've done a good job with decorating all along. Let's go inside because there's always a lot of stuff here for whatever festival that they are doing. Looks like you can write a wish, tie them to the wishing wall. I'm not sure if this is the wishing wall in the back, but they have tons of tags hanging that people have written on. Here at the small New Year cart, you can get chicken wings. Look pretty good. There's a very long line to meet characters, but as you can see, they have Mushu and Milan out. How cool is that? Posing. On the Paradise Garden stage, they have Melody of China. This is where it'll show. It's pretty cool. They have a wall that asks what year you are, but all the animals are represented by Disney characters. Here's a quick look at what they have at the Paradise Garden Grill. Now back here it's always full meals based on the festivals. 
I actually just realized the yellow banner in the bottom right corner tells you they have a tasting size available for sip and savor. So everything but the tilapia you can get a sample of. Lines are quite long here for Lucky Lantern and Longevity Noodles. You'll see this one goes all the way back there. And for Lucky Lantern, it just keeps on going. I'm not even sure where the back is. There's so much demand for the merchandise, you'll see they've now taped a queue on the ground. Alright, that is going to do it for the Lunar New Year here at California Adventure. Um, I'm not going to get any more food today just because the lines are really long and I don't have too much time left. I will be back in the future because I still have five of these. Uh, actually, I think it might be next week I'll come back to see the event. Maybe catch some of the shows too. But that is going to do it. Thank you all for watching. The caravan is moving on.